how are you guys i'm shooting from my phone for this video so i apologize in advance for any weird audio or noises i'm sorry <laughs> so today i wanted to talk to you guys about classification that is something i struggled with a lot um as a young adult in college and you guys may be thinking what does she mean by classification by classification i mean classifying people classifying friends um, you don't want to just cut people off and burn your bridges, which is something that I used to do as a young adult. Unless someone's threatening your name, your safety, your reputation, and someone's just a weirdo, then you can cut them off completely. But I do strongly believe in classifying people and putting people in certain buckets. So, for example, I strongly believe, and this is a piece of advice, ladies specifically, I don't believe in sharing your personal situations and endeavors with women, with your girlfriends. I feel like your girlfriends, you go out, you have a drink, you smoke a hookah, you go to the club, whatever floats your boat, and, and that's all. Don't, I feel like friends really start, to, I honestly can think, and this has been my experience with friendships with women, the friendship starts to get weird when you guys start to get too close. When you start sharing about this amazing guy that you met, you start sharing how much weight you're losing, you're, you're sharing how you got a new job that's 30K more than your old job, that's when that weird competition starts. But just keep them at bay. Don't go into detail. Like Just go out, have a good time, and that's it. I'll see you at the club, girl. I'll see you at the bar, girl. I'll see you at the club. I'll see you at the bar. Hey, girl, like keep it light. You know what I mean? Don't overdo it. Another part with maintaining friendships is understand that people have certain seasons. People get busy. People have other things that they're focused on. Like don't take things too personal. I think that's really big with maintaining friendships. Now, do those real deep friendships like Bonnie and Elena exist? absolutely but they're very very rare needle in a haystack rare so just learn to just not go too deep and not go too in depth with certain things don't discuss your relationship if your friends are single and you're not they'll they'll tend to try and get you to leave your boyfriend because they want their single friend back like you just have to try to you know classify people Put people in buckets. You don't want to burn your bridges, but you definitely want to know where to place people. In reality, like as you get older, maintaining friendships becomes harder. Like maintaining really because you're so like I feel like the last three and a half years of my life, I've been focused on my YouTube channel, my businesses, my career, like myself, like getting better, feeling better. Cause I struggled with depression for years, years and years and years. And I don't really have the space for a friend who's going to latch onto me. You know what I mean? And I would hate for a friendship to end, but because of that, but I have ended a lot of friendships for that specific latching on that some women try to do. And it's, I'm telling you guys to don't have a friend where you try to latch onto them. Allow your friend to be independent. Allow them to have seasons where they're busy. Allow them to have seasons where they don't want to talk that much. Allow them to have seasons where they disappear for a little bit. Like, don't become codependent on your In summary, just like don't become that needy friend or that friend that you're dependent on. Because I'm a very independent personality. I don't like being latched onto. I don't like being clinged onto. I feel like the only person that I really want to cling on to me is like my lover. I'm not the type of friend where I, you're not going to hear from me every day. You know, like I'm not going to call you every day. You're not going to see me every day. Like I want to be able to go days or weeks without hearing from you. And then we just plan like a girl's night out and we go out and we have drinks and we have a good time. And then we don't see each other for a couple weeks again. Like I, I require low maintenance friendships. I can't do the high maintenance ones where we're together every day because once that closeness happens or you guys are together every day, talking every day, texting every day, that's when it becomes a little bit too intimate and that's when things really start getting weird, honestly. So you want to have that healthy distance. Well, you just definitely want to maintain that healthy distance. Now, the only time that I would encourage a woman to like cut a girl off 
and cut a friend off is if there is jealousy or envy. You have to get away from that person. It's just going to grow and get deeper and darker and stickier. And that green monster is going to grow, grow, grow. And I don't want you to end up getting hurt in any way, shape, or form. That's the only time. But other than that, you have friends that you're cool with. Yeah, you have little arguments. You have little disagreements. You have places where you don't see eye to eye. Like there's always going to be a little tiny bit of that. And you have to be able to like overlook that because it's not a big deal. I think that the jealousy and envy that's the those are the red flags where you gotta get out of there but if it's like little crappy things like oh she didn't show up to your i don't know event because she was not feeling well and then you guys patch it up and have drinks the next week and she gets you a makeup gift like it's it's, it's really not that serious like it's really not that deep you know what i mean but that's really my my opinion and perception on how to maintain friendships i know i get asked those questions a lot just Keep that distance there. You don't want to be too close. Like, you know, just go out, have a drink, chop it up, talk about nonsense, laugh it up, smoke a hookah, switch the flavor, you know, maybe like go to a lounge after whatever. But like, it doesn't have to be that deep. Like have a spa day, like once a month where you guys go to a spa, like talk nonsense. But like, don't share your personal deepest, darkest secrets, problems. Like you talk to, that's for God. <laughs> Those are conversations you have with God, a therapist and like your mom. That's not, cause you, they're not going to use it against you, you know, it's, you know, so just there are certain deep conversations that you, 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 you keep those conversations for when you're praying at night. That's what those conversations.